not be your, your running back room and how good that is to have Isaiah <laughs> for another year. You got Johnny. I mean, how, how special is it working with so many talented guys? Oh man, it's great. Uh, you know, it makes makes my job a lot easier. You know, having these guys, you know, all this spring, they all kind of bring something different to the table. So, you know, it's been a blessing for me this spring to watch them to continue to develop. You know, watching them last year, you know, the you know they came into the season not a lot of experience, and we had some new guys we added. But you know, getting them all back for a second year this spring has just been refreshing. So it's been a pleasure to coach them all this, this spring so far. We've heard from. Coach, from Coach Gus that, you know, Isaiah's kind of being treated like a pro this spring, mm-hmm. meaning, you know, he's not getting tackled, not really doing a whole lot in the scrimmages. Right. What have you seen from some of the younger guys in the room? I know you mentioned them, but what have you seen? Have they been able to take advantage of that opportunity? Yeah, yeah definitely. And, that, and that's kind of been the plan. Um, you know, holding Isaiah back from some of the full contact stuff has allowed the young guys to get more. And Coach has spoken a lot about Johnny. You watch his development and things that he's able to do now that last year this time, you know, we probably wouldn't have put him in certain positions. And that, so that's definitely helped him. Mark, Mark is kind of coming on even more. You watched him last year about midseason, you know, even won some games for us and stepped up big. But the young guys, uh, I've been pleased with Trillion Coles, you know, who, who's a veteran himself. But Anthony Williams, Jordan McDonald, him getting Jordan here early and then, you know, those older guys taking some reps off, it's allowed Jordan to accelerate, you know, where he's where he would be right now. You know, so I've been very pleased with that, man. Um, you know, so I'm excited to watch him continue to build. This next week is going to be fun, though, because I told him out there when we finished. The spring has been good, but next week got to be our best week. And, and our guys, they've been answering that bell, you know, every week. That when I've challenged them, they've answered it. So I'm looking forward. Talking about tennis, so practice the strong you mentioned next week being a big deal. So you've got, you're definitely comfortable with this point in practice. Right? Oh. So, Right. What's kind of your message and mantra going into this spring game? Um, we challenge ourselves as a group every single day. Um, you know, it starts in our in our meeting room. You know, I, I told our guys like we're, we're going to watch how guys compete not only on the field but compete with your preparation. And it started back uh, when our guys got back in January. The strength and conditioning staff had you know those guys raved to me about how the guys were working. I was out on the road recruiting, not able to be here, but they raved about how they had worked all January. And it's you know, it's bled, it's bled over right into spring ball. I'm seeing it myself. And um, what we tell ourselves is we root for each other. We compete. We compete with each other every single day as hard as we can. But we want the group to do well. This, and we, what we talk about is no drop-off. You know, no matter who's in the game, no matter who's getting an opportunity or when they're getting an opportunity, we feel comfortable, you know, as a group that that guy is going to be out there ready to succeed. So, you know, at me as a coach, when you got guys that are – Kind of, you know, they're, they're answering that bell and, and, and they're, they're, they're listening to the things. And I'm hearing my older guys now talk to my young, and they're using the same language that I use. And that's what makes it refreshing for a coach because it's sticking to them. So, you know, I've been very pleased, but it's, it's no drop off. That's, that's our mantra in the room. You guys and Chip have talked a lot about Johnny and just how much mm-hmm. he's taken another step this spring. Obviously, he had a great year last year. Where have you seen improvement from him? He talked about just his all around game, understanding protection to that. Yeah. Effort. Yeah, absolutely. Protection is probably a, a biggest thing for him because, you know, you guys saw, like, if you're watching us play, you know, Johnny, he made a lot. He was very effective with the ball in his hands. So what my challenge was to him after last season when I met with him was playing without the ball. So that's in pass pro, being able to operate the offense, you know, and be, being able to do more than just carry the football. So and when you're able to do that, you become more of a, of a dangerous player. You know, defenses, you start watching, OK, when 25 is in the game, well, now zero. When zero is in the game, you know, he's getting the ball. Now, you know, that's not the case because Johnny can do more. So, you know, he's answered that challenge, and every day he comes to me for some reinforcement. My biggest thing with Johnny is more so, like, how he's taking coaching. And that's been what I've been most impressed with because, you know, him being a young player last year and me being new, him not knowing me, sometimes when I coach, and I coach hard, it, you know, he didn't respond always the right way. Now you're seeing him, he wants that. He wants to be coached that way. And I think that alone has helped him to continue to get better. You mentioned Jordan McDonald. What was it like recruiting him, and how important of a piece was he for your recruiting class, for the recruiting class? Oh, he was super important. Um, you know, recruiting him was fun. Uh, you, you have some kids that y- you recruit, and you under- they understand how to handle their business. And, and you got that from Jordan from the start. The very first time that I met him, you know, he came on campus, and we're talking. And, you know, he, he, d- he didn't talk a lot. So I was wondering, like, does he not like us at all? But what he was doing, he's very, he, he watches everything. He, he, was, he was observant. He's listening a lot. And when he does speak, 
he, he, he elaborates a lot on what, what, he, what he wants to talk about. So that part right there, it took some getting used to early because I didn't really know what to think. Like, man, does he really like us? But as we started to build our relationship, he started to open up more. And, you know, Jordan is probably the goodest young man that I've ever, you know, had the pleasure of recruiting. You know, had a great family. They were honest with us throughout the process, and that's what I love about him. And I think that's going to help a kid like that when he gets to college. He's mature enough here to be able to excel on a day-to-day -day basis. With all the talent in the running back room, how much of the how much are you experimenting with two running back sets this spring? Uh, we're doing a little bit. We're doing a little bit of that. Uh, we're just getting into it. You know, I think the first part of spring, you always want to make sure your base stuff is in. But we understand as a staff that we know, we have a backfield that of guys that got different skill sets that we can put more of them on the field together. And, you know, so we're experimenting with that. And I think it'll be something that'll be good for our guys, too. They get excited about it when we talk about it. You can tell they want to be on the field together. So, you know, that's, that's, that's been really good for us. And I think it'll be good for us down the road. Um, so from where you're saying, I know you're on offense typically, mm -hmm. but uh, the, the uh, natural opponent, so to speak, would be the linebacker court. Mm -hmm. um, from your perspective with all the young guys they've got and all that, how do you think they're progressing in uh, uh, battling with you guys in practice? Well, they're, they're getting better. You know, you, you have the, you know, you have a veteran over there like Jeremiah Jean Batiste. You know, you watch him in practice, and he's leading by example with that group. But for us, we go against those guys just about every day in a hookups period, whether it's route running or pass pro. And, you, you know, what I've told my guys, they've, they've, they've challenged us. And um, you see them get better every single day. So, I, you know, same thing with them this week. You know, we're going to try to push, from our standpoint, push our game up. And I'm sure Coach T will have those linebackers doing the same thing. We saw Isaiah. Yep. Them in the Florida game, we saw him after a month off and how it looked then. So how valuable yeah. is it to have a running back like him? Um, it's very valuable. Uh, as you can see, when he was on the field for us last year, you know, we were a different offense. You know, you're able to run the ball downhill. His running style fits exactly what, what we want to do as an offense. So having him there and having him healthy and at his best, you know, our offense is ultimately at its best then too. So, you know, with Isaiah, you know, what we're doing with him this spring is going to help him, I think, in the long run, just of keeping his body fresh. And then Isaiah does a good job off the field away from us too and what he does to help his body. He does a lot of yoga and a lot of, a lot of guys we have to bring that here for him, and Coach is doing that. But he was doing that stuff even before Coach started because he understands how important it is for him this year to be healthy. So, you know, I'm really excited about how he's progressed this this uh, spring. Because even when you when you talk about not having a guy in contact, you kind of lose sight of are they getting better. But you watching him doing certain things now so much, he's so much more comfortable with the system. He can coach guys. He's per, he's working on detailed things for himself. So I've been very pleased with his development, and you know, I think he'll have a big year. RJ has done a great job this spring. He's been non-contact all spring because we're being safe with him. Uh, but him, having him back out there, flying around, running around, RJ's fast, man. Uh, we tested this all season, and he, you know, he was still in his knee brace, and he was probably our fastest running back in the room. So that shows you his ability uh, that he brings. Uh, and then, you know, when we look at where he was before the injury last year, you know, we can – not do nothing but be excited about getting him back. So, um, but he's he's progressed well this spring and everything that we've had him do. What about Mark Anthony Richards and his development? You kind of talked about yep. running back. He won a couple of games. Are you really big that ECU win? Just how has he been this spring? Mark has been great. Mark got better every single day. He's actually probably had his best week yet this week, and he had been progressing to that point. So I've been very pleased with Mark. Um, he's he's one guy I love coaching. Mark. Uh, Mark takes coaching very well. You know, just. My, my building a relationship with him when we first all got here last year, you know, you saw a kid that was coming in with his confidence was kind of broken a little bit from some injuries that he had at his last place. But I watched him every day to develop. And, um, you know, when I coach, again, coaching him hard, he responds to it. And, and I, Mark want to do well, but I watched him this spring, man. I, I'm really excited about his development. You know, so I'm, I'm looking, you guys are going to be excited when y'all see him get, get opportunities out there this year. How was this? How was this spring? I was good. We we threw the ball more than than we did in the first scrimmage, but just watching our guys be able to, um, you know, get into the pass pro stuff and the route running and all that, and, and identifying things with defensive fronts to make protections calls, making sure their eye discipline is good. That's really what you know we like to see. You know, I like to see as a running back coach a lot of times too, because that's so important during the course of a season. Them being able to protect. And, and, and we got to see a lot of that the other day. So being able to challenge those guys, again, like I said earlier, playing with the, without the ball in their hands, and that's super important. It gets lost sometimes in our position because everybody only want to look at us when we're running the ball scoring touchdowns. But, 
you know, them being really good in pass pro, them being really good catching the ball, and then blocking for their teammates too. You know, I like to see the effort stuff. That's what set guys apart. Um, I love the diversity. Um, I think it, it, every offense, you want guys that can do things a little bit different because there's some things in the run game scheme-wise that, you know, it don't fit, everything don't fit everyone. So, you know, if I got a guy that needs a play, you know, a, pay, a play, a scheme that needs a little more patience, I feel comfortable, you know, putting a particular guy in that position. If I have a guy that want, we want to get the ball in the edge too and he can make play, we got a guy that can do that. So being able to have guys that do different things well, you know, it bodes well for our offense and it makes it, you know, uh, easier job on us as coaches where we're not trying to force things with a particular guy. Uh, as far as one thing that I look for when, you know, when anyone gets the ball in their hands is being physical. Uh, you know, we, you play a position sometimes that people want to be finesse and, you know, we want to get the ball out. No, we want to run the ball downhill. That's Coach Miles on his mindset. That's my mindset. Get the ball downhill, break tackles. We, we want guys to break tackles. That's, that's what we want. So when I see that, when I see guys not afraid to run into the defenders and beat guys going north and south, you know, that, I love it. That gets me going more than anything else. And, and you like what you're seeing in terms of that? Oh, I love it. I love it. My guys have done a great job of, you know, responding to that. They know what we're looking for. And you watch guys on a day-to-day -day basis trying to do exactly what we're coaching to do. I know you got Mark coming in here next, but he, he had some runs in that scrimmage the other day. And that hasn't always been him. You look at some of his runs last year where he's trying to get to the edge and all. No, Mark, you big. Run at people. And he's doing that now. So, you know, it's making his game so much cleaner. Thanks a lot, Good. Enjoyed it. All right. Thank you, guys.